Hello friends, this is Kimberly and it is Friday night at about 11.30, um, December the 2nd, 2011, and I'm still here in the hospital and according to my doctor today, um, I will be here for an undetermined amount of time. Basically, he said I'm going to be here for the long haul, whatever that means. Um, as most of you know, I'm scheduled for surgery again on December the 17th. Um, unfortunately, I developed this um, seroma versus abscess on my belly, and I also have developed a fluid pocket on my spine. So, um, anyway, they're not really talking very much about what they're going to do with the fluid pocket on my spine at this time because they want to figure out what they're going to do about what's going on in my belly first. So, um, I'm on some high dose antibiotics, um, vancomycin, cefetipine, and flagell. The vancomycin um, gave me really bad diarrhea, and so they got really concerned about C. diff, um, which can be really detrimental. Um, so, they put me on the flagell prophylactically. And since then, the um, diarrhea has ceased. And um, basically, I'll show you guys my wound tonight. Um, let's see if I can do this here with my iPod, so bear with me for just a second and excuse my flabby belly, but, um, after you've had two surgeries in a short amount of time, that happens. So, anyway, here you go. So that's kind of what it looks like, and it actually looks really good and really clean. Um, there is some dried blood that's still there, and the pink and the red that you saw there was actually the um, betadine from when they did the fine needle aspiration yesterday. Um, so at about 2 o'clock yesterday, I had the fine needle aspiration, and that was CAT scan guided, um, and to my great surprise, they got off 18 cc's of fluid. Um, there still was quite a bit more that they could have gotten off, but they stopped at the 18 cc's. Uh, they numb you up. It was not terribly painful, but it was not terribly comfortable either, and it was not something that I would go through um, electively uh, if I, uh, you know, didn't desperately need to have this done. I, I would not have opted to do it because it was not painless. Um, not horribly painful, but not horribly comfortable either. Um, so that's kind of where I'm at right now. Um, they brought me a new bed tonight. That's why I'm up so late. I had already taken um, some medicine to help me to sleep, but I requested an air mattress that fluctuates and will take the pressure off of my spine so that I won't get any decubitus bed sores um, because the area on my abdomen is so large where the fluid is built up. I'm having a really hard time um, laying on my side, so either side I can't get comfortable and um, it really pulls and is very um, uncomfortable for lack of a better term right now. So they, um, at my request, went ahead and they ordered me this fabulous air mattress that um, fluctuates um, based on my body weight and the pressure um, areas of my body. So, so far I've had it for about 30 minutes and it's been um, pretty fabulous so far. Um, but that's kind of it for now and I just wanted to give you guys an update and um, I'll see my surgeon, um, assistant surgeon again tomorrow. He's the one that's been following me because my surgeon is only at this hospital once a month. So um, the assistant surgeon is following me and I really like him. I'm very comfortable with him. And he has told me that if I need to go back into surgery for debridement or to remove the hematoma or the seroma that's on the spine, um, he'll do that. I don't have to wait for my surgeon. So I'm, I'm happy and comfortable with that. And I like him very much. And also the vascular surgeon came in and saw me today and um, thought that the um, incision area looked really well overall because there isn't any cellulitis or any redness or warmth. So that's kind of where I'm at right now, you guys. So I just wanted to give you an update. Looks like I will be here at minimum through the weekend, at maximum. Um, I won't be going home until after I'm done with rehab after my second surgery. So trying to stay positive and focused on the good, and that's where we're at. So I hope that everyone has a blessed day. Um, thanks so much, and I'm sorry for all the noise in the hall. Um, the unit's really busy tonight. They've gotten a lot of admissions. So talk to you guys later. Thanks. Bye.